join the American Meteorological Society by becoming a member of the band. The AMS Weather Band is a global community of weather enthusiasts dedicated to learning and sharing their love of science. Visit amsweatherband.org to learn more and join the band today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Tuesday, the 16th of March. I'm James Spann. Again, all of the ingredients coming together for the potential for a dangerous weather situation across Alabama in the Deep South tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night into early, early Thursday morning. So a lot to talk about. Let's see if we can answer all your questions. We'll start as we usually do here with the upper air look across the country. We've got one feature that's over Minnesota and the Dakotas, but the one that's going to be the problem for us tomorrow is the one that's over Arizona. Uh, that digging short wave will come out across in the southern branch of the jet stream, providing dynamic support for thunderstorms tomorrow. And today it's fairly wet. That was the radar composite at uh, 142 this afternoon. Uh, we've got some heavy rain falling in spots across parts of central Alabama. And uh, at one point, we've had uh, severe thunderstorm warnings for parts of Butler and Crenshaw counties down in the southern part of the state. Check out the temperatures and, uh, ooh, I see a wedge, cold air damming. Look at Gadsden, 52, Aniana, 53. It's almost cold in those cities. But away from that wedge, you've got temperatures near 70. For example, it's 72 in Haleyville, Birmingham at 69. And deeper in the wedge, only 48 in Atlanta. And that wedge could very well play an impact in how this thing evolves tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. We'll talk about that in just a moment. We'll check the dew points. They're quite high, as you might expect, away from the wedge. Uh, we've got a dew point of 67 now in Tuscaloosa, very ripe air mass. There's the watch warning map. We've got a flash flood watch for a few counties in southwest Alabama, southeast Mississippi, a winter storm watch for parts of the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles in southwestern Kansas, a winter storm warning for parts of southeast Colorado. Severe thunderstorms a possibility through tonight. From Kansas down into Texas, there is an enhanced risk north and west of Oklahoma City. And for Alabama, a low-end marginal risk. That's level one out of five through tonight. Maybe a few storms with gusty winds, small hail, but the threat is low. But needless to say, the focus is on tomorrow. This is the new day two outlook for tomorrow from the Storm Prediction Center. A risk of severe storms all the way from Missouri down into Florida. And uh, obviously the Highlight will be in that moderate risk area. Uh, this is the probabilistic outlook in terms of tornadoes. And again, where you see the hatched area, that means the chance of a few strong, violent, long track tornadoes, EF345. Uh, and that 15%, that means a 15% chance of a tornado passing within 25 miles of a given point. Tornadoes are small. That's a pretty high number. And this is the damaging wind probabilistic outlook, 30%. 30% chance of damaging wind within 25 miles of a given point in that hatched area. And again, there could be some significant wind damage reports. This is the way it looks for Alabama. The level four moderate risk includes Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, Tuscaloosa, Florence, Decatur, Cullman, Clanton, Montgomery, Greenville, Thomasville, Demopolis. Surrounding that, there's an enhanced risk for pretty much the rest of the state. And again, we'll talk about the timing and more about what to expect as we look at modeling here in a second. And then day three, this is Thursday. The risk moves on to the east and enhanced risk over much of the Carolinas and Georgia uh, that kind of clips the southeastern part of Alabama. This outlook is valid after 7 a.m. Thursday. Rain for the next seven days. This thing has overperformed over the last 24 hours. A lot of rain for the state. This is the additional rain between now and Tuesday morning of next week. Rain amounts between two and three inches for much of the state. So let's go through modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 3. Got a strong digging, negative tilt upper trough west of the state, providing dynamic support with strong wind fields. A surface low near Fort Smith, Arkansas, and we're solidly in the warm sector. Now, this is tomorrow morning at, uh, at 8 o'clock, and the question is, could we have any severe storms with this activity? Uh, at the moment, I'd say it's unlikely. The, the better dynamic support is still to the west. The instability values are low. Uh, but still, we have to watch this. You know, these things often can bring a surprise. Uh, but for the moment, I'd say the odds of that activity being severe, not especially high. Let's go to four o'clock. And any storms that get going in the afternoon, they could go severe. At that point, we'll have plenty of dynamic support in place. We'll have a strong veering of the wind with altitude. And if storms can form tomorrow afternoon, they could be severe. Uh, they'll be scattered, not linear. And this is 9 o'clock tomorrow night. Again, we'll have scattered storms here. The main activity is still over in Mississippi. And then this is 2 a.m. late tomorrow night after midnight. 
showing the main band of storms coming in through here and not necessarily all lined up. Uh, it's somewhat linear, but still a lot of breaks in that line, which is problematic. This is the uh, instability. And again, I'm going to stick with this time frame. This is 2 a.m. after midnight tomorrow night. Uh, for that hour of the night, these values are fairly high. The instability values between 1,000 and 1,500 joules per kilogram. Shear values are high. This is the 0 to 1 kilometer storm relative helicity. And the STP values are still pretty high. Uh, the max is 7.44. This is 2 a.m. So in terms of the timing, you know, we're, we're kind of stretching this out. Uh, it looks like it could be longer into the night, into early Thursday morning. Uh, for and, and again, this timeline is under the assumption the morning storms will not be severe. The main window for severe storms, areas north and west of Birmingham, 3 p.m. until 3 a.m. Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, 4 p.m. until 4 a.m. And then uh, from Montgomery South and East, 6 p.m. until 6 a.m. And if you're in Dothan, Abbeville, Ozark, you might see storms lingering through mid-morning, maybe 9, 10 o'clock Thursday morning. And again, all modes of severe weather possible, the possibility of large hail, damaging winds, tornadoes, and again, the chance of a few strong, violent, long-track tornadoes. A dangerous situation. We don't say that to scare anybody, but it's the way it is. It is what it is. And this happens sometimes in March and April here. And again, the encouragement is for you to help us spread the word to people that don't necessarily pay attention to weather. Let them know that this is a dangerous situation. They've got to have a way of hearing warnings, not a siren. Uh, which is what most people think they're going to hear. Uh, know where they're going. Think about where's your safe place. Do you have helmets? All of the things we talk about, if you could just help us spread the word, that would be greatly appreciated. And I will mention, too, that the Storm Prediction Center has indicated that they could upgrade parts of this level 4 to a level 5 out of 5, high risk. But that really doesn't matter. That's just not that important. We, we want people not to focus on you know, risk colors and numbers, just understand the entire state has a significant chance of severe storms. Now, the, the one thing to watch will be that wedge. Uh, again, I want to go back to the STP graphic. Notice that sharp cutoff in northeast Alabama. That's the wedge. And in the cold air, obviously, there's not going to be any severe weather. Can the moist air overcome that? We'll see. That'll be an interesting battle. But that boundary could serve as a focus for strong to severe storms in the middle of the night. All right, Thursday, uh, it's out of here. Uh, Thursday will be cloudy, cooler, uh, rain and storms ending during the morning. Maybe some lingering showers over North Alabama, highs in the middle 60s. This is Friday. Should be a mostly dry day. Clouds linger, highs 60 to 65, just a small chance of a shower. Saturday, becoming partly to mostly sunny, cool, the high 57 to 60. This is Sunday. Sunday morning's going to be cold. We could see some frost. Uh, lows will likely be in the 30s. The day will be sunny. The high will be in the 60s. Monday, we're dry with upper 60s, and this is a week from today, Tuesday the 23rd. Got one upper low, the Silver Missouri, another one back over the Intermountain West, and a, another strong storm look here. Uh, the surface low is farther north and west this time. It's north of Kansas City, but that might bring some strong storms on Tuesday of next week. Let's go out 10 days. This is Friday, March 26th. Now, the trough north and west of the state, a surface low near Memphis, and that could bring some strong storms, maybe severe. So at the moment, it looks like the two opportunities for active storms next week, Tuesday, and then and again on Friday. But this could change, obviously. Rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble, the mean between 3 and 4 inches between now and the 1st of April. And temperatures from the National Blend of Models. The high Friday dropping to 58. It's got 39 for Sunday morning. That's for Birmingham. Many spots will likely see low and mid-30s with frost. And then we go back in the 70s by the middle part of next week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Join the American Meteorological Society by becoming a member of the band. The AMS Weather Band is a global community of weather enthusiasts dedicated to learning and sharing their love of science. Visit amsweatherband.org to learn more and join the band today.